you guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the one with the three cameras on the back, and I have the larger version of it. With that being said, I'm not going to ramble on too much in the intro, and without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, I'm going to scooch on over here. Let's see if that's good. Let's start the screen recording. And we're on. So this is my lock screen. Um, I just got it off Pinterest. If you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, um, I will get there. And when I unlock my phone, my home screen is also from Pinterest. Both of them are just like sunsets and like beachy areas because that's what I like. And when I open my iPhone, I have my home screen and I have just a regular blank page in the very beginning because I like to be able to see my full home screen without any apps on it. It's just aesthetically pleasing to me. But on my dock down here at the bottom, I have Instagram, which follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. You guys will be updated about when I post. I take some decently nice pictures, I think. <laughs> Next to that, I have Snapchat and my Spotify. I'm a Spotify person, not an Apple Music person. So if you want to follow me on Spotify, I don't have any playlists, but my boyfriend has playlists. Yeah, my um, profile is Taylor Dixon with two Y's, so follow me on there. And then on the very first page, I have messages, shortcuts, which if you guys don't use shortcuts, you guys should. It's actually really convenient. You basically add different shortcuts to call somebody or text somebody a certain thing. So I have my mom, my dad, and my boyfriend for calling, and then I have an on my way text, I'm home text, and just got to work text. So you basically just press that and it brings up the message to send, and all you have to do is press send. So that's pretty convenient. I have photos, camera, calendar, maps, weather, notes, app store, settings, phone, safari, clock, Starbucks, TikTok, and Reddit. So that's just on the front page, just all the basic stuff. Um, TikTok, you guys can follow me on TikTok. I don't really post that much. As you guys can see, I only have 500 followers. So follow me if you guys want to. It's Taylor Galatea, that's my first and middle name. And Reddit, I basically just scroll through the Jeep forums and cute puppy forums and kitten forums. On the next page is where I have all of my folders. I like it that way. The first page is all the singular apps, second page is all the folders. So in the first folder I have social, and here I have FaceTime, Facebook, Messenger, Pinterest, and the followers app. Um, everyone knows pretty much what FaceTime, Facebook, and Messenger is. Pinterest, follow me on Pinterest. It's probably one of my favorite apps in the whole entire world. I am on it probably more than I am on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, just Taylor Dixon, it's just my name. I have a couple folders, if you guys want to check them out, <laughs> follow me on there. And the followers app just tells you who unfollows you, which I honestly don't really use that much anymore, because I could care less, but I have it on my phone. I've had it on my phone probably since I was like 12. The next app, I have my editing app, and here I have Visco, Relook, Airbrush, Tezza, Facetune, Lightroom, Unfold, Cam. SP Rocket, Bitmoji, and Fonts. If you guys want a full video on how I edit my Instagram pictures, um, leave that down below and I could definitely do that for you guys. But I'm not going to go in depth on how I edit in this video because that would take forever. But Visco, everyone really knows what that is. That's what I use to edit most of my pictures, but I have been getting into Lightroom more recently. Lightroom just makes it look a lot more professional and I use Lightroom for my um, YouTube thumbnails as well. Relook, I don't really use this that often and I honestly can't remember what I really use it for, but I believe Relook is kind of like Facetune. Um, the airbrush app I use to make me look tanner in the winter time. I don't really use it in the summertime, but in the winter time I use it to make me look tanner. Tezza, I haven't used yet, but I saw this girl on TikTok 
edit one of her little beach videos on Tezza and it looked so cute. So next time I take a cute video, I'm gonna edit it on Tezza and see how it turns out. Facetune I use to whiten the backgrounds and to get rid of pimples. I don't use it to distort my body like some people use it, um, but I only use it for those two reasons. Lightroom, just explained, I use it for my Instagram pictures and my YouTube thumbnails. Unfold, you use to make like cute collages. I don't use it that often, but I do really like it. Cooney Cam, you use to put the little date in the corner of your picture, like the old school photos. SP Rocket is that little like HP Rocket printer that you can print out pictures from your phone. Bitmoji and fonts, I wish I could delete, but I use them. I just wish I could use them without having the app, but I can't, so I have those on here too. The next folder I have is Mail, and here I have Gmail, Shopify, Outlook, and Yelp. Gmail is my regular app that I use for my emails. Shopify, I'm gonna show you, because it's literally a lifesaver. It basically tracks all your packages that you have, but all in one spot, so you don't have to like go through your email and track each package individually. Really convenient, and you can check out using the Shopify app with certain websites that allow it. Outlook I use for school, that's my school email, so I have that on here, and Yelp. I honestly use it to look at my job's Yelp reviews to see if anything pops up about me. Which, I've worked there two years and I have no reviews on there, so that's good news. Next I have videos, and here I have the Apple Music app, YouTube, Netflix, and Roku. Everyone knows Apple Music, everyone knows YouTube, everyone knows Netflix. Roku is my TV app that I can use the app to like pull up the remote if I lose the remote, which I do all the time. So that's nice. Next folder I have is useful. And here I have contacts, wallet, health, watch, activity, lens, calculator, and find my friends. Um, most of these are for my Apple Watch. Like the health app I mainly use on my Apple Watch. I have the Apple Watch app. Activity, it's on my Apple Watch. Lens for my Apple Watch. But find my friends. Everyone knows what that is. You can see where your friends are. Next I have school and here I have Google Docs, Google Drive, um, Canvas, Insight, and Files. Um, Canvas and Insight is what I use for my college that I go to. Next I have Navi. This is all my navigation apps um, except for um, the actual Maps app, but all the other ones are in here. I have Sigler, which basically tells you how traffic is on the freeway. It's really convenient. It like tells you any accidents that comes up if you're on a road trip. Definitely recommend getting that. I have the Waze app, which basically tells you the fastest route to your destination. Google Maps, Amazon Alexa, Swag Cycle, Google Home, Ring, and Badge of Honor. Swag Cycle, we have these little scooters, um, and the Swag Cycle app just allows you to like bring your speed up to 18. So in order to ride the scooter faster, you have to have the app. So that's why I have that on here. And Jeep Badge of Honor, you can get badges for different trails that you complete. I'm not gonna go too much into that. Next up I have is the Games app, and here I have Wordscapes, Tower Run, and Tangle Master 3D. Wordscapes, it's basically like, kind of like a crossword puzzle kind of thing. Um, it pops up like this, and you basically just complete it, and that's about it. And Tower Run, you guys have probably seen this on like Snapchat ads and Instagram ads. Um, you basically just stack your people up and complete the little, I don't know, obstacle. <laughs> and Tangle Master, it basically, you just untangle ropes, which really helps with anxiety if you guys struggle with that. Um, I definitely do, so I would definitely recommend getting it if you guys struggle with that. Next app that I have is the Money app. In here, I have Mercari, Depop, Venmo, Hours Tracker, Poshmark, and DHgate. Mercari, Depop, and Poshmark, they're all like selling slash buying apps. I only sell on Mercari. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out what clothes I'm selling, I um, pretty much post something like at least once a week, but definitely check it out if you guys are interested. 
make me an offer if you guys want to. <laughs> um, Depop and Poshmark I just use to buy things. Everyone knows what Venmo is. People can pay you and you can pay people back. Hours tracker I use to track my hours at work. I was using it because I was on unemployment and I needed to track how many hours I was working while I was still on unemployment. Um, and then DHgate, that's what I use to buy fake jewelry if I'm being honest. The next folder that I have is the workout folder. In here I have Weight Gurus, Peloton, Eufy Life, and Balance. Weight Gurus and Eufy Life is the little scales that you can connect to your phone to show like your BMI and stuff like that. Peloton, everyone knows what that is, it's the little bikes, but they have workout classes that you can do not on the bike, just like in your room. So that's really convenient. And then I have the balance app, that's a meditation app that I use when I'm feeling anxious at night. The next folder that I have is the YouTube folder, and here I have Fonto, Pixar, and YouTube Studio. Fonto and Pixar I use to edit my thumbnails, so that's why it's in the YouTube folder and not the editing folder. And at YouTube Studio, that's what I use to comment back to you guys and see how my videos are doing. And the last folder that I have on my iPhone is the bank folder, and in here I have the Bank of America prepaid card and Wells Fargo. Um, yeah, not too much to say about that, but that's all that I have on my iPhone. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you guys aren't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. And comment down below some video requests you have for me and I will definitely put that on my long list of YouTube video ideas and possibly do it. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.